Didac 35, Swan again in the 30s. Ablett terrific, Enright and Chapman nearly broke the game open, but uh, they had huge numbers inside 50, did Collingwood, and uh, therefore, in the end, they were too good for Geelong, and this man is enjoying arguably his best season as a magpie, and that's a big statement. Dale Thomas, being good enough to join us. Daisy, welcome, mate, and congratulations. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me. Must have been pleased last night because you took on an amazingly good side and really served it up to them in every way except maybe the scoreboard. Yeah, it was a pretty solid uh, performance by the boys. Um, once again, it probably wasn't a four-quarter performance. We let them back in there in that second quarter there, but uh, a pretty good effort nonetheless. Well, Big Willis uh, had a look yeah. at this one, and he's a bit flat today, Dave, for obvious reasons. <laughs> yes, great to have you, Dale. <laughs> uh, no, well done. Very good. They worked very hard, uh, Collingwood. And it was important to beat the Cats. Uh, they've, I think they've won the last four, and a really good rivalry there between you and Geelong now. Yeah, they've, uh, they've had the wood over, over us, and uh, especially in the finals there, so... The challenges for us still lie ahead. Um, obviously, we've got a few more games to go before finals, and you know you don't want to look too far ahead. But we still have to, to prove ourselves against the, the better sides in the finals. Uh, Dale, as a club, it looked like you really set yourself to pressure the Cats. They are the, the main disposal team in the competition. The way they flicked the ball around, and you got them last night. You got them on the turnovers, and you certainly made them pay from that. Yeah, I think our last month of footy, the, our pressure inside 50 with Leon and Steele just really uh, closing the, the opposition down and not letting them handle the, the ball out has resulted in turnovers and goals, and it's very uh, yeah, helpful. You dominated play for many parts of last night. Now, you got two goals in front in the third quarter. Did you feel the pressure come on, and what turned it around to make you kick the next five? Yeah, well, the, the pressure was on all night, um, but we just had, I suppose, the belief in the, the style of play that we'd been playing and the structures and the setups that had got us in front for the first quarter. And as you say, we, we let them back in there for, with a little bit of a sniff, and it wasn't quite uh, panic stations, but it was nearly getting that way. But uh, we stuck to our tasks, and you know, the boys played some, some good hard footy. See the pressure here, which yeah. you know always helps to getting the scores and turnover goals like this are really uplifting for a team. Great play there, boys. Uh, side bottom, just smart enough to get his uh, foot on the ball. Didac there, who was probably it was best on ground. He was the outstanding and got away to a really good start. This is the second quarter here. McCaffrey kicks a goal. It's out to 28 points, and uh, all the Geelong supporters think, "Oh no, we're in a bit of trouble here." But then the Cats, as they normally do, they fight back and never give up on them here, and they work really well and kick the next four goals. And it was all tied up at uh, half time. Tomo, what was said at um, half time? Well, I think the main message for us was we really let the Cats back through the corridor there in that yeah. second quarter. They had the uh, nine inside 50s, I think it was, for the term and scored nine times. So they weren't going in that much, but when they were, they were able to score pretty freely. So that was a focus to slow them down, to control the footy through the corridor a bit more um, and try and force them wide so we can get numbers back. I was going to ask you about that, Dale, from uh, 37 inside 50s for the games. The Cats actually scored 25 times. Has that been spoken about as, as a club uh, after the game, just the fact that they were able to get... Once they got through your zone and the pressure, they did put scores on the board? It wasn't spoken about after the game, but as I say, that, that second quarter there where they scored, I think it was 100% of the time they went in there, that was mentioned. And, um, you know, it was certainly a bit of a factor because when they did go in there, they were scoring at such a high rate. It's a great game. Uh, one point, the Cats half-time. But the matchups: Ablett, Swan, Bartell, Wellingham, Selwood, Ball, Penelope, Ling, Cloak, Tarlow. And actually, Cloak got the better of Tarlow then, so they had to move Ton Lonigan on to Cloak. But a really good game, and uh, you just didn't know where it was going to go. Unfortunately, I reckon the Cats ran out of legs a bit there. Could you feel that late in the third quarter? Uh, not really, no. It was, a, as I say, it was almost finals, like the atmosphere mm. and the pressure. It was, it was right on from uh, word go, but it was a, a solid four-quarter performance to really grind out the win. How do you go with the big crowds? Because 84,000 there last night, that's, your th that's only the um, third biggest crowd you've played in front of. There's a couple bigger than that. So, obviously, it's great for the younger boys. Yeah, it's, it's great to be a part of such a, a club that gets a massive crowd week in, week out. And as you say, for the younger boys, when it does come finals time, they're not really daunted by that, mm. the stage and the, the bigger crowds. Uh, up against the side with Bartell, Selwood and Ablett, to come out of the game with 40 extra contested possessions, I mean, that's a great feather in the cap for your midfield. Absolutely, and you know, it wasn't a focus going in, but when you've got the you know, blokes like Bawley and Swanee and Pendles in there putting their head over it, it makes it a bit easier for uh, blokes like myself and Dids and the blokes who are skirting around the outside trying to find a nice cheap one. <laughs> and they've got two goals in front here, the Cats at one stage, but a great fight back by the Maggies. And Travis Cloak uh, sprayed a couple early, but then got the boot back on. And uh, he's an important player, Daisy. You get him any hints there for King Echo? No, I don't. He should, uh, he should oh, get a few like this. Look at that, just That's sneaky one. Sneaky one. How do you find one. that much space on your own, Daisy? Just work rate, mate. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right, you put that down, too. <laughs> yeah.
Great goal there by Beams. He's a star. He's an absolute star. That is a great snap from that far out. It is. He's been a uh, fantastic player. And I think you'll see in a minute here, the last goal he gets is uh, two of the young boys who uh, work it out. Pretty good job by Mackey coming up here to uh, slow them down. But they, they figured it out. Yeah. And the, the young fellas are going nicely down there. Yeah, well, here it is here. Actually, watch these kids out there, what Andrew Mackey does. He, in a no-win situation, great front and square by Steel Sideboard, and that's how you play. But Mackey here doesn't run at the bloke with the ball. He corrals him, does a really good job. It was never going to do it, but that's how you do it. And well done, Beams. I liked his game, liked Didac's game. Now, all the good players were very, very good for the Collingwood Footy Club last night. Now, Bill, will Co uh, Geelong be sitting there today going, we didn't play very well, and we only lost by 22 points, and we got plenty left, yep. or will they be thinking... Crumbs. 30 less inside 50s. We actually cop the smacking. <laughs> that is a worry, that. But no doubt there, there's uh, another game into some blokes that need a run like Ottens and Joel Corey. And they played pretty poorly and only got beaten by 22 points. That is. Having said that, Collingwood hit the post, I reckon, five yep, times. And, and they've kicked, they've had 37 shots at goal. So there's certainly some concern out of the game. Fights, Bill? Well, loved Alan Didact. He's one of the he is one of the superstars of the competition. Wellingham was great. Penelbury, Thomas, Daisy oh, was very yeah. good. He's, he's had a great year. So it. seven tackles, four contested marks, seven marks, 23 touches. Uh, Dane Swan was good. Uh, O'Brien was good. Cloak was good. They were all very good. Well, Bill, we don't get Daisy in here too often, and when we do, we like to furnish him with uh, some stuff to take home. Shane, have a crack. Yeah, oh, no worries. Uh, he's going to be taking home the Aquila shoes, the St Goliath clothing pack. Man, what a fuss for the magnificent head of hair he does on, have. Where's the King the Chrome tools. <laughs> uh, you've oh, got the GNC whey protein powder. Slide you've got the bit, Hotel like. Brighton. Uh, uh, Krispy Kreme <laughs> donuts. Come on, keep up with me. Oh, oh, the oh, cob oh, cooker. Oh, he has got a sore oh, knee, so please forgive oh, him. And the home timber and hardware gift card. Well done on your season. It's been magnificent, and also Collingwood, uh, they have been a sensational team so far. So well done, and enjoy all the prizes. Good luck. Thanks, Dave, I think uh, Bill may have mentioned, or I don't know who yeah, it was, that, the, um, good point. The, <laughs> that there's, there's just a real lid on it feel mm. about the way the Maggies are going about it. When you finish the games, the, the, there's no over the top celebrating, it's very <laughs> measured. I think Maxie got you into a little huddle yeah. at the end of there. Is, is there a real feeling amongst the playing side of the footy club that? You got to st you keep as focused as probably I've ever seen, Colin. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty easy to get. Uh, carried away with the supporters we have and the hype that surrounds the Collingwood Football Club. But as you say, it's, it's not so much keep a lid on it, but just enjoy each win as they come. Um, enjoy the week leading up to the game and then get out there and you know really try and do work for the, the two hours that is the, the game. Well, uh, it's a hackneyed phrase and I use it a lot, but flying, Collingwood. Cool. Congratulations. It's great to watch you. I think nine in a row now. Big finish to the season and a huge September. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Dale Thomas well is a oh, star crazy. of the competition. Don't worry about that for a second. We're going to take a break. And the coach of the Kangaroos, Brad Scott, to join us next.